As a company that specializes in personal training and fitness education, we have noticed a rise in the fitness scene, a rise of fat diets and misguided workout routines. So during a time where many of us want to look and feel better, but most people are not getting the results that they want. So today I'll be sharing with you what we realized the problem was. And after successfully helping over a hundred clients reach their fitness goals, we broke it down to one simple question, which is what are the biggest mistakes when it comes to weight loss? Hi, I'm Aaron. And today I want to show you some of the biggest weight loss mistakes and what you can do to do things correctly. Number one, not exercising during weight loss. Now, you will lose some muscle mass as well as fat. So this is certainly not something that you want because losing muscle mass will lead to a decrease in metabolism. So meaning your body burns less calories. That's a big no-no. By contrast, exercising helps minimize the amount of muscle mass that you lose, boost fat loss, and prevent your metabolism from slowing down. Number two, not eating enough protein. Now getting enough protein is extremely important if you're trying to lose weight. In fact, protein has been shown to help with weight loss in several ways. It can reduce appetite, increase feelings of fullness, increase metabolic rate, and protect muscle mass during weight loss. Number three, overestimating how many calories you burn during exercise. So exercise does increase your metabolism and burns calories, but not to the extent where some people think it will completely negate the excess calories eaten. Now exercise is not a license for you to eat more, but it's a tool to help you get fitter, stronger, and healthier. Number four, not lifting weights. So multiple studies have proven that lifting weights is one of the most effective exercise for gaining muscle and increasing metabolic rate, therefore improving your overall body composition. Now in simple words, getting toned. So in fact, a review of 15 studies with more than 700 people shows that the best strategy for all for people who wants to lose weight is combining aerobic exercise or cardio with weight training. Number five, not tracking what you are eating. So eating healthy is of course a good way to lose weight, but you may still be eating more than what you actually need and more than what you realize. So tracking what you eat can really help you to get a more accurate picture of what you're eating, as well as keeping yourself accountable for what you eat. Just like how you would track your finances and spending, you should track your caloric intake and make sure that you eat less than what your body needs. Now, these are only guidelines, but you must take action. And if you don't know how to start, we are here to help you. So, we don't do this often. Actually, we don't ever do this. But right now, we are having a special promotion in conjunction with the launch of our new branch at Tanjung Tokong. So, this offer is only for the first 30 clients and 10 of them have already been taken up. So, we will never ever do this again. So, don't miss this chance. Click on the link below to learn more and book your free consultation with us today.